as a kid, there's always been kind of an interest when you're watching movies like Lord of the Rings and all those cool fantasy medieval movies. So it started with kind of the fascination of armor and swords, I guess. And then I figured, hey, well, I'm going to try to make some of that stuff. Kept an eye out for tools and started collecting and now I have my own shop and a nice forge and anvil and trying to make different things like that. So. I'm 21 now. I was 15 when I made my first knife. I mean, it wasn't a good looking knife. I started just burning down wood in the fireplace and putting a piece of metal in there until it was red hot and then whacking on it with a hammer. I slowly upgraded from that. Built myself, me and my dad built my own little coal forge. I started forging just under a little lean-to that we built this last year. Built myself a nice shop, so I'm a little bit more established now. For my suit of armor, I have a shirt of chain mail, and it's just made out of electric fence wire that I've wound into links. And then I cut those links apart and then just link them and bend them all together. Probably costs like only a few dollars, but I put probably 150 hours into that one shirt, just making those links and sitting in front of the TV and bending them together over and over and over. My squire's on vacation. The gauntlets that I've made, those probably took close to 40 hours just in those two gauntlets. In each gauntlet, there's I think 36 little plates that all need to be riveted together, hand pound the rivets so it articulates and everything. The, the Mandalorian armor, that's been my, my Comic-Con costume for the last couple years and just a cool character from Star Wars. The armor plates are all made out of aluminum, the helmet is plastic and then I painted it and everything myself, put that costume together just for Comic-Con every year. So with the cable knives, you start off with like any big piece of scrap cable. I just cut a little section of it. I heated that piece of cable up after the ends were welded and I had a handle welded on there. I just use a borax as a flux to keep the metal from oxidizing. When it oxidizes, it's not going to want to weld together. So twisted it nice and tight so it doesn't come apart and then once it reaches the right temperature I started hammering on it and uh, it slowly starts welding together and all those little strands become one piece of metal. Once the whole thing is all welded together then I can start making whatever out of it. I started making a little blade. After the blade is all nice and polished and everything, uh, you could really see the the little strands, the, the grain of it in the, the finished blade and that just gives, gives it a lot more character and a lot cooler going from a piece of cable, all the little individual strands into one solid piece of metal and into a usable knife. This one's made out of, of uh, pry bar and micarta handle. The micarta is just a, a resin or an epoxy with different layers of cloth. So this is just literally pieces of a, one of my old t-shirts and shop rags all held together with epoxy. I was at the Cook's Creek Medieval Festival last summer. I set up a booth there and I had my forge and my anvil there and so I, people could come by and and watch me as I was making stuff and they could also buy other things that I had set up there. Most, most of it I just keep for myself because I think hey I, I, that would be pretty cool to have so rather than, than making stuff to sell 
first and foremost, I'd just like to learn from it and to have something cool to show people after. It could take so much more pride in knowing that I, I made something rather than going and finding something to buy.